Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man. Saturday evening and it's time to make some soap. Okay, what I'm going to do today is something I've wanted to do, haven't done in a while. I'm doing a simple drop swirl because I want to keep it fairly simple. But I'm using natural colorants today. So what I'm doing, titanium dioxide is a natural mineral. That's going to be one. One color is going to be turmeric. And one color is going to be rose clay. What I understand, rose clay is bentonite clay. It's been colored with a pink or rosy color. Now, I don't have the proper essential oil, so it's not going to be completely natural. I'm using a fragrance oil, brambleberries, apple sage, because it behaves really well. And I'm experimenting. Um, the only essential oil I have is a tenfold oil, a tenfold oil, orange, and it's really dark, so I'm just really afraid that it will darken it too much and block it, so I am using a fragrance oil instead of an essential oil, but I'm using natural colorant. So I'm going to do my usual procedure, um, get a light emulsification, uh, split it into three containers, put the colors in, the scent in, do a drop swirl, and if it lets me, I will do a hanger swirl with it as well. I'm soaping at about 130, and this, I'm even using tallow that I rendered myself. We'll see how that works. Keep your fingers crossed. So let's go ahead and get started. Bear with me while I make a little noise. Just to get a light emulsification, then if I need to stick blend more, I can. But a lot of hard oils in here, including tallow. I use that in place of palm oil. Um, and it's pretty warm, so it's probably going to get pretty thick. So I'll have to really be careful. That's enough to get us started. You see my crock pot over here. I'm making liquid soap. Uh, actually, it's already cooked. I'm, I'm, as soon as I'm finished here, I'm going to start uh, adding my water to dilute and start that process. Been cooking for six hours and it's ready. And that's what I use for laundry soap. So let's get these into three equal containers. Doesn't have to be exact. Close is good enough. And yes, I'm going to scrape this out because, guess what? My kitchen upstairs is finished. I'm not going to be using this to wash my dishes. I can actually cook and clean upstairs in my kitchen the way it was intended. Alright, I'm going to put my colors in, lightest to darkest, so I don't have to clean in between. So the white's going to go first. That's probably what I'll pour first. Then my turmeric is next and it's dispersed in oil just like the titanium dioxide. Beautiful orange color. I love it. It's nice. That is so nice. And then the rose clay. Now this is dispersed in water. I read that you should disperse your clays in water because if you don't, they'll absorb the water that's in your soap batter. And I've already done a 10% discount because of the titanium dioxide.
These are a pretty nice consistency for a drop swirl. Um, I'm a little reluctant to do any stick blending. I don't really think I need to. So I'm just going to put my scent oil in. See what that does to it. This turmeric is my favorite of the colors. It is beautiful. I think those are a good consistency to pour. Because I'm afraid, especially with the scent oil in, if I start to stick blend, it'll really thicken up on me. So let's get some white in here. I'm going to pour probably about half the white because that's going to be the base to kind of help the others mingle. I'm going to pour the turmeric high so it pierces through. it and do the same with the rose clay. You know, it's thickening on me. A little bit of white. The turmeric. And the red. white and we'll save a little bit for the top. And the turmeric. Saving a little bit for the top. And the red. Okay. I am going to go ahead and put the spill over into one of the molds. I think I have enough white so I'm going to go ahead and just pour all of my white into these. And pour a little bit of my red into it. And I still have enough for my top. Pour a little bit of my turmeric into it. Save a little bit from my top. Just kind of mix those in there like that. Get those out of the way. All right, let's go ahead. Are we? Yeah, we're at a good consistency for the hanger tool. So. I'm going to put the hanger tool in the front, no, in the back, all the way to the bottom and sort of do a loop-de-loop -loop and up, down, and out. And that's absolutely all I'm going to do. Now what I want to do is go ahead and get some of these colors on the top.
take my skewer, which just happens to be my thermometer. Do the feathered pattern. And I'm just barely putting it on the top. Turn around and go the opposite direction. Now I'm not going to be able to get anything over the top of this because it's really full, but I do want it to go through gel. It's warm in here. This crock pot is giving off a ton of heat. And it's going to be running um, pretty much all evening to dilute it when I get the water when I get the water mix in. I'm going to spray this with the rubbing alcohol. And get this ready to put it against the wall because this but this mold. Excuse me, it bows when it's full. But if I put it against the wall, it does not bow. So let's get this ready. So I can put it back against the wall and let the wall hold it up, but yet I can still insulate the sides. that and I really think even with the top uncovered I think it's warm enough in here boy that crock pot is running and heating this room up so I'll put those against that to hold it that'll keep it nice and straight okay now I'm gonna spray that one more time I'm just going to let those go. Okay, so now you've seen what I do with that. See my liquid soap over here? Uh, I did, I did a, a, a video of me making liquid soap. It's been cooking for a little over six hours. Now it is done. Look at the steam coming off it. I'm getting ready to dilute it and let it start the long process of dissolving, but I do mine with glycerin. You know, normally, if you watch videos, people, and I've done it before, people who uh, mix it up in water base, mix your lime to water, it's a real super thick paste. Look, mine's liquid. Look at it. You see that? It's a brown liquid. Now, when, I'm going to turn it down some now, when I put my water in it, uh, it will react violently. I have to do it slowly for the first core, but then it just slowly goes in, starts to dissolve. I'll put it on low, let it sit overnight, but this is what we have. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Looking forward to seeing it in the morning. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow for the cutting. All right, bye.